Yo, to man, what is good with y'all? <laughs> Another banger, man. Hey, it's your boy, none of the soul, none of the chosen one, right? None of the glow. I literally just got out the gym, bro. Like, bro, like what, 10 minutes ago, right? Today was bad day. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section, man. What day is it for you guys today in the gym? You know, what are you guys' splits, man? I want to know in the comment section. For those of you who are actually taking the gym serious, right? For those of you who actually hit the gym and have splits, what do you do, right, on certain days, man? But today was back day for me, and I did cardio um, at the end of my workout. I'm starting to do cardio at the end of every workout now because, um, you know, cardio obviously helps me lose weight, but, you know, I feel like it helps me with my stamina as well, right? Uh, it just helps me, you know, stay fit. So that's what I'm trying to do at this point. I'm very proud of myself, right, how far I've come, guys, because, man, I remember when I was bigger, bro. It wasn't healthy, right? I, I wasn't feeling my best, right? My confidence was very low, right? Thank God, right, for everything he's done for you guys, man, and me, right? You know, everything that we've been through in our lives, guys. You know, I, I make these videos because it, it, it's like a documentary, not really a documentary, but I'm I'm basically just 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 tracking my journey. I'm documenting my journey. Basically, that's what it is, right? I'm basically documenting my journey, and just letting people know, right, how God will move in your life when you start to live a disciplined life, right? This is nothing, you know, that I, I want to come on here and just, you know, talk, talk, and talk. No, guys, I'm giving you guys real life information that's going to help your life change because my life has changed when I got on semen retention, bro. When I started to cultivate my sexual energy, my life changed. Right, I, I become a, I become somebody who gets respect. You're gonna be respected. This is the title of the video, actually. Right, becoming an error, becoming a respected individual on retention. You may be asking yourself, Nana, what do you mean by this? Right, why will people respect you? Okay, when you start to cultivate your sexual energy, that's a great question, and I'm here to answer that for you. I'm here to let you know why people are gonna respect you. Well, guess what? You know what the biggest factor is? You respect yourself. When well, you choking your chicken. Right, a lot of you guys laugh when I use that word, but I, you know, we're on YouTube, guys. I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want my channel to get taken away. We spitting gems, right? When you choking your chicken, when you are playing with yourself, in other terms, right? <laughs> when you playing with yourself, bro, you're not respecting yourself. That is no self-respect, right? There's something in my eye. There is no self-respect whatsoever. When you are literally playing with yourself and watching two people fornicate, you don't respect yourself. If you respected yourself, you wouldn't even be doing those things, guys. Why do you think I preach retention? Why do you think I'm trying to help you guys master this, this part of your life? It's one of the hardest, I know, guys. It's one of the hardest parts. As a man, you know, disciplining yourself sexually. There's a lot of cheeks out here. <laughs> There's a lot of cheeks. There's a lot of good looking women that you can literally, like, especially when you're on retention, you already know how the attraction gets. Women will be choosing, right? Some women would just, bro, they're literally just gonna be handing it to you on a silver platter. Like, here you go. You can have this, it's yours. <laughs> bro, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. It gets like that. It gets like that, man. When you don't want it, you know, they're gonna throw it at you. But would you would you rather okay stay in your masculine frame would you rather keep your energy or would you rather be respected or would you rather have all this power you know than than, than a quick five to ten minute pleasure guys it's not worth it you know let's just be honest here you know it don't matter how bad this woman looks right you know what the goal for me is obviously i'm gonna get in some in some cheese one day obviously i'm not gonna this is something that i do i retain of course but i do this so that I can attract high quality women, okay? Not that That's not the only reason why I retain, but I'm saying one of the reasons why I retain is to attract high quality women in my life, okay? So I can eventually get married. Eventually, you know, have a, a, a wife with me who's gonna help me grow the same way I'm growing, right? I can, I can help her grow. That is a, that is the, that's the purpose God gives you a woman, guys. A woman is supposed to be a, your helper. She's not supposed to take you off your grind. That's not a good woman. She don't respect you because you busting nuts. She don't respect you because you a lazy bum, okay? If a woman sees you putting in work, you, bro, I'm telling you, her respect for you is gonna go 10 times up, right? There's a lot of women, the gym I go to, a lot of women respect me because they see me putting in work. They've seen me transform. They know I was bigger than this. 
right? They know I was bringing in this, and now when they see me, bro, they laugh, they smile, right? They, 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 it's like you can see that kind of attraction look in them when they look at me because I've transformed, bro. I've literally transformed, man. And it's a great feeling to know that I've been able to gain my confidence back by hitting the gym, man. You know, a lot of guys think that, oh, working out is an ego thing. It's really not, okay? Some people work out for different reasons, but the reason why I started working out, I wanted my confidence back. I wanted to look more attractive, okay? I wanted to, you know, feel comfortable in my own skin. You know, let's just stop lying to ourselves, man. When you're bigger, you know, you can't really accomplish a lot of things, man. You're, you know, you just can't, okay? I'm just being honest, man. So for those of you who watch me, okay, and you want to start hitting the gym, you know, start hitting it, man. Who's stopping you? Get on semen retention and start respecting yourself, okay? It all comes from somebody who respects themselves. This is how you become respected. You cannot want respect if you're not respecting yourself. It's not going to work. <laughs> I know somebody's going to quote that. You will never get respect if you don't respect yourself, dog. Okay? Let me know in a comment section, man. You know, have you been experiencing a form of respect, right? Even older men give you respect. You know, they do. I'm 20 years old and, you know, guys who are in their 30s or 40s or even, 20, you know, uh, uh, late 20s, give me the utmost respect okay not to be cocky but it's the energy bro it, 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 the, the energy you carry when you're respecting yourself is different from a guy who isn't respecting himself okay your seed gives you masculinity when you retain when you discipline yourself you gain masculinity you gain the utmost respect bro not just from men but women too okay a lot of women will respect you um you know, the attraction, of course, guys, we know this. We know we get attraction when we retain, bro. You know, this is not something I got to keep repeating, repeating, right? A lot of you guys ask me, bro, it's real. Just try it for yourself. You can listen to all these videos. A lot of you guys just sit there and watch retention videos after retention videos. You got to actually do it for yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah. What you thought this was? You think you're just going to watch the videos and not do it yourself? How are you going to experience the benefits? How are you going to really understand what us brothers are talking about? Okay, if you're just sitting behind a screen, you know, you're still probably jacking off. Okay, yeah. And you, you're watching this content. You're like, man, what are these guys talking about, right? You, you, you a, compu you a uh, keyboard keyboard uh, warrior, right? You, you, you typing. Those kids who be typing on, <laughs> they be like, oh, what is this dude yapping about, right? That word makes me so pissed. It gets me pissed off. You know, these TikTok kids comes come up with new words every single... Bro, it's like every single month. <laughs> they come up with new words, bro. Talking about what is this kid yapping about, right? Oh, oh, he's glazing. You know, all these just words, bro. You guys need to start focusing on the bigger things in life, man. All of these things ain't gonna take you nowhere, bro. It's just not. It really isn't, man. It really isn't. You guys may think, oh, Nana is just so serious. I'm not so serious. I'm very... You know, I'm a laid back, chill type of guy. I like to have fun, but I know what, you know, I'm supposed to be doing, right? To satisfy the most high God. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, right? To, to, to attract the right people and the right things in my life. Okay. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be retaining. Why would I be sitting there jacking off, wasting my potential? Why? It's no point. Why would I be there sleeping with five, 10, you know, women every month or so? You know, and, and wasting my potential. It don't matter how bad she is, bro. I don't care. That's nothing. Every you know, there's women out here who look good every day. You can meet any woman who looks good, right? But it comes down to what woman is gonna truly respect you as a man. When you respect yourself, you're gonna get respect, dog. It's inevitable. It is inevitable. People are gonna feel that masculine energy from you and they're going to respect you, bro. You know, guys are gonna give you the head nod, guys are gonna give you the salute, right? Of course, you have the guys who are gonna hate. We don't care about those type of men. We have we don't we we don't even want to associate ourselves with guys who hate. We don't. Okay, they're just mad that you have raw masculinity and they're faking theirs. That's what it is. That's why guys hate on this journey to you because they know you're you're truly masculine and they're not. And they're wondering why you have all this masculinity and they don't. They don't understand it. Okay, goes for women too. Women will either respect it. The feminine women, bro, they're going to be all over you. They're going to respect it. Right? Women who are in their feminine nature, they're going to respect you. Okay? They're going to they're going to just appreciate that masculine energy you're bringing. The same way you can appreciate her feminine energy that she's bringing, guys. It's just it's just polarity. 
right? It is just how God has intended man to be masculine and women to be feminine. This isn't something that uh, I'm trying to be like, oh my God, this guy's being sexist, right? You got, you got people just always take things out of context. <laughs> <laughs> oh man guys you guys gotta retain bro it's just the best feeling bro you know it's the best feeling man to know that you have your urges under control and what's between a woman's legs isn't controlling you because if a woman what's between a woman's leg controls you man there's no thing there's no such thing as success for you brother there's nothing there's no such thing as that you're probably wondering, oh, no, no, where there's guys out here who sleep with the thousands of women or hundreds and hundreds of women, and they're successful. Well, guess what? Okay, those women that they're sleeping with, guys, those are not the true women that they want. You know, fella, you know, guys sleep with women for different reasons, right? But the main reason is they just want to get a nut off, bro. I'm, I, right or wrong, right? Most men sleep with women because they just want to get a nut off. They just want to have that, that, that release. Yeah. Women sleep with men, you know, mostly for, you know, the, the, that emotional attachment, the way she feels about you. Okay, yeah. That's why most women sleep with guys. But when it comes down to a guy who's retaining, okay, he understands this, bro. He understands, you know, the difference there. He understands how attached a woman can be to him. Okay, so he, he doesn't even put himself in certain circumstances, guys. A man who is doing those things, right, you know, he may seem like he's so happy oh he's sleeping with all these women but he don't got raw masculinity bro because his masculinity he's using it and wasting it with these women he's sleeping with that's not the women he truly wants no guy really wants it to marry a, 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 a 304 guys come on bro let's stop the cap here no guy wants to marry a woman okay who has all these bodies you know not to judge their past but it's just what it is no man wants to cuff a woman who has literally been sleeping with so many men Let's just stop lying to ourselves, guys. Let's stop lying to ourselves, man. Men who sleep with a lot of women, you may think that, they're, oh, they're just that guy. They're cool, right? They're still wasting their masculine energy, bro, okay? They're still wasting their their, their, their life essence. This don't mean nothing. This don't mean they're cool. This don't mean that, oh, they're better than you. It, it doesn't mean anything. They're just doing that for the pleasure and the fun of it, right? But if you're truly trying to take this journey serious, I, I, I suggest you get on retention. I suggest you take you, you take on no fab, okay? There's no fulfillment when it comes to sleeping with those chicks, guys. There's no fulfillment. Those guys who sleep with all those women, you really think they're fulfilled? <laughs> that, that five to ten minute pleasure, bro. After that, they, they become miserable again, bro. It, it, it's not worth it. There's no fulfillment, especially if this woman is, you know, you're, she's just a random, you know, three or four, random trish. <laughs> Right, the New Yorkers be saying Trish, right? Random Trishes. You just sleeping with them because oh, oh, she's a baddie. She looks good. You know, she got a nice body. You're, you're playing yourself. Okay, women won't respect you. It don't matter because you are not respecting your life essence. You know, a lot of women are using this. They're taking advantage of you guys because a lot of guys don't know their self worth. Okay, this is why women do the things they do now. Because a lot of you guys, bro, you're, you're, you're so slow. <laughs> you're not using this head. You're using the one down there. So women are just walking all over you. You a man and you letting a woman disrespect you, bro. That's embarrassing. That would never be me. Never. Never. Okay? Never, ever, ever. You know? You become respected. When you speak, you got people listening. When you speak, you, you turn heads on retention right or wrong for those of you who are actually on this journey okay you you become a man who who just 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 demands it with your aura itself bro okay you you, you just command respect i told you guys when i went to that job training you know the women there were just amused because they were feminine okay so they were like bro they were very very amused with me they were just so happy right they were you know i was making them smile bro i was just talking being myself they were smiling just you know just feeling themselves man you know women like to feel like women around a guy um, who's masculine women love to feel feminine okay and when you retain you make them feel that way bro okay and they, they're gonna respect you for that yes women will respect you for the fact that you can control yourself don't listen to all of these pills the guys out here telling you oh you sleeping with a lot of women are gonna make women respect you those are the women that you would not want long term with you don't you don't really want to marry those women 
you don't really want to you know be in a relationship with these women have kids with these women no those women are just women you're just going to probably sleep with and it's not worth it it's no fulfillment in that man don't stop letting these 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 pilled youtubers cap to you bro there's no fulfillment they sleep on hundreds and hundreds of women what's the point i, I truly want to know you know for guys who you you know that was your past or you I hope you're not still doing it if you're watching my content, but let me know in the comments. What is what, what fulfillment do you get out of sleeping with thousands or hundreds, or it don't matter the number. If you've been sleeping with multiple women, what is the fulfillment in that? What is the fulfillment? You're just giving them your energy, and they're going to succeed. I'm telling you, when you give women your energy, bro, they're going to they're gonna be more energized than you because you just gave them your energy. You're a clown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not preaching to hate women, guys. I don't do that. I love women, bro. But at the end of the day, this is what men need to do to better themselves, man. We need this type of information. There's a lot of guys out here who just talk about nonsense. They don't talk about God no more. They don't talk about retention. They don't talk about discipline. They don't talk about hitting the gym. They don't talk about things that truly matter. They're out here, you know, being clowns. I'm the realest guy you ever going to watch in your life. I'm 20 years old with this type of knowledge. I know I'm going to be great, man. Ain't nobody telling me nothing different. Okay? Facts. It's already predestined. So when I look at my life, and I'm like, man, life is getting tough. You know, I start scratching my head. I'm like, man, this is all part of God's plan. Because I'm a child of God. Got to look at it that way, kings. Look at it that way. Right? If you are a child of God, you don't got to worry what God has planned. Right? Just trust him. Okay? He has plans to give you a hope, uh, to give you a future. He has plans to give you hope, right? There's a Bible verse. Is that Jeremiah? I think that's in the book of Jeremiah, right? Let me know in the comments. But I love you guys, man. I'm here to put knowledge into you guys, right? Let you guys know the, the, the wisdom, the word of God, right? You're going to become respected, bro. You got this Holy Spirit oozing out of you, bro. You're living a righteous lifestyle for the most high. You think people are not going to respect you? Huh. Retain and you're going to see, man. I love you guys. Comment down below. Like the video. Do all that good stuff. More content on the way. I'm about to go home. Bro, I'm actually at the... Yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I'm actually at the... I'm at, I, I just parked... Bro, I park, you guys probably can't see. I parked at the wash, bro. Let me, let me show you guys. I parked at the wash. I'm not washing my car, but... I just came here just to make the content real quick. Bro, I'm about to head home. Oh. I love you guys, man. Make sure I hit that like button, bro. I'm out. <laughs> oh, if you don't keep that glow, you never going to grow. Peace.